All right, if you're using Google Sheets, you have a series of numbers like we have here in F5 down through F9. We're going to talk about how to show the relative value of those with bar charts. I'll see you in the video. All right, so this is where we're going to end up, but we're going to go to the same data, but on a cleaner sheet and um, build the bar chart one piece at a time so we can have a full understanding of what we're doing. So a bar chart is a type of a spark line. So a spark line is a little miniature chart that fits just in one cell, but usually they show the relationship between a series of numbers, right? So one cell will have a squiggly line, maybe with eight different points, or the bar chart will have different segments in it. But here we're going to have only one data point per cell but we're going to express what we're trying to express by having it relative in size to the cells below it. I think I made that more confusing than it needed to be, but you'll see what I mean here in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type sparkline. That's the name of the function that builds these little charts. We're going to give it the data. So this is just one data point per cell, right? So we'll say B2 and then a comma. And then for these options, you surround them in a bracket and then in quotes, we're going to say chart type. And then a comma and the chart type is going to be bar. Let's close that bracket off. Do a closing parentheses and hit enter. And then we made a simple bar. But this bar at this point doesn't tell us anything because it goes all the way to uh, from the left to the right of the cell. And that actually does happen to be the largest number in this series, but that's just a coincidence because if I drag this formula down, it will do that for every value, right? So what we need to do is we need to uh, set this additional option that's available called max, and we need to set it to the largest number. So the one that goes all the way over to the right is only the largest one. So we will do that by uh, going back up to the top, and then we will do a semicolon to let it know that we're doing a new set of uh, options here. We'll say max, and then we're going to get that maximum number with a function called max. So they happen to be the same name, but that's just a coincidence. One's an option for the spark line. Right now we're doing a function that's going to return the largest number of what we feed it. So what we're going to feed it is this range, B2 through B6. But we don't want that to move down, so we will put dollar signs before the numbers. We'll close that off. Now you use the closing bracket. Now you use another parentheses and hit enter. And you can't tell what we've done yet because that was already the largest number, but if I drag this down, there we go. So that's the biggest step that we have here that has made them relative. And you can see if you want um, more bang for your buck at a four year university, you should go to West Virginia University, right? If this is your sample. Now let's do one more thing. Let me go to this worksheet called dashboard. And this is something that we're developing uh, for this add on that we have at Sheets Help called College Compare. So you can build out your list of schools here. You name the college, you click run, and it builds this spreadsheet for you. So you can sort and filter it, but it also develops this dashboard. So this is what we're working on right now. Should be released in a week or two, but you'll notice that Wesleyan University right now is colored red, but these are all in uh, column G, these are all the same formula. Right, so how's that turning red? Well, I'll give you a little hint. If you change this drop down to Carnegie Mellon, it changes that one to red. So we've modified this. So these formulas look at the value in this drop down box. And let's talk about how that's happening. We'll double click in G5. And we have kind of a larger formula here, but now that we've gone through the parts that we've gone through up to this point, you will recognize everything up to uh, the end of this max function. And just to be very proper, I want to make the max uppercase so you realize that's a function. So the next option that's available is you can specify two colors, right? So we specify color one is going to be, well, 
you can specify two colors, but we really only specified one at a time here based on the condition. You'll see what I mean. Color one, since we're only talking about one bar chart at a time, there's only one color, is red if E5 is equal to B2 or blue if it's not. So in other words, if Carnegie Mellon matches what's in this dropdown, it turns red. Otherwise, it's blue. All right, and then you get these conditional dropdowns that will kind of highlight what you're looking at, but still show you the relative value. All right, and to learn more about what chart to choose at the right time, chart to choose, chart to choose. Look at this video that I have posted on the screen right now, and it will show you if you're comparing things or if you're showing trends over time, all these different things that you can do with data, what chart makes the most sense. I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.